Okay guys, this video I'm going to talk about the difference between non-standard normal distribution versus standard normal distribution. Well, first of all, what is normal distribution? Earlier chapters we learn what is normal distribution and very first chapter on statistics or maybe second chapter of the statistics you uh, were introduced some um, graph. So this is one of the important graph in the statistics. So this is called normal curve, bell shape okay which is symmetric on both sides it just start on the left going up on the thick and going down the same rate and obviously this is symmetric on both sides and also this is the same thing look at this here so both of them is normal curve but question is do they standard one is standard one is non-standard okay so if it is non-standard we're going to learn why it is non-standard if it is standard why it is standard we're going to learn that also all right so before i even you know continue i want to make sure that we understand what is normal curve normal curve is basically yeah, it's like as our appearance if you are in front of a mirror I, I guess everyone have seen you face in the mirror right if you look into your mirror right uh, right on the forehead to your nose and coming down the cheek right you see there is exactly symmetric on both sides your face everyone face it doesn't matter your face my face anyone it doesn't even have to be a human anyone have life on it can move as little as ant be snake everything has a normal shape okay normal distribution it's a symmetric on both side so uh, on the left side is a negative and in the middle is the center well you know i mean if it is a normal distribution g score then it's going to be negative but well i don't want to talk about g score yet so it starts on the left going half half and coming down so this is symmetric on both sides okay guys symmetric on both sides clearly so this one as you see i don't want to mention this as a z score line why because this is not a standard you mean is not zero you you know x value is not your standard deviation is not one Whereas this one, as you clearly see, this looks like a normal curve, obviously, and this is a z score line. Why? Because this was converted into z score. Okay, then it becomes a standard normal distribution. So we kind of use a conversion formula. Okay, last video we learned what is z score. So z score is basically z is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation. In other word, how many standard deviation avoid the data value from the mean that is the meaning of z score so we use this conversion okay so i'm actually going to show you here with example so i'm going to actually create one here one i'm going to create one here and if i say my mean is equal to 100 and that is 110 remember this is your x and this is the mean this is not a z score line this is called non-standard normal curve okay non-standard normal curve so i know this is my mean this is my mean and i know this is my x value how about my standard deviation if somehow i can get my x value well actually standard deviation so x is in this case is 110 minus mean is 100 all about the standard deviation oh by the way this is the x and of course on the left is the mean what is the standard deviation what is the difference between what is the difference between this point to the mean look at that is a 10 well question is is the next one should be what 120 and 130 so our it has to be same distance from each so it's one standard deviation is basically 10 two standard deviation is 20 three standard deviation is 30 and so on on the left side is going to be it's not going to be negative but we're going down it's going to be 90 it's going to be 80 it's going to be 70 so well we clearly now understand my standard deviation is going to be 10 so i'm going to divide by 10 one I, once I divide by 10, I can have a little calculator if I want. 
I can say 110 minus 100, okay, 110 minus 100, I can do this way too, but I have to enter, divide by what, 10, divide by 10. So it's one. What is Z score is one. So Z score is 1.00. Remember I just put 1.00 by default we must round to the two decimal places. So look, my Z score is 1.00. That means this is my Z score. Okay, 1.00. And my mean is zero. So that's my Z score, which is one standard deviation. Okay, in this case, well look at this here my standard deviation becomes one my mean becomes i'm sorry my mean becomes my mean is zero okay and your standard deviation is 100 and your x value is this one now you see the difference between standard and non-standard distribution so non-standard your mean is not equal to zero whereas a standard deviation your mean must be equal to zero let's take a look here mean mean must be equal to zero and a standard deviation must be equal to one that is the characteristic we have to follow in order to be a normal curve. On this one, your mean, your mean cannot be equal to zero. Your standard deviation may be zero, sorry, maybe one or maybe different. Okay. So, well, I want to actually uh, reiterate uh, definitely here. If it is a normal curve, you come off with now, you know this is a normal curve. Why? Because mean is zero, population mean is zero population standard deviation is one so what is the characteristic in this normal curve the total area under this normal curve is basically one okay this standard normal curve extend indefinitely right in both side okay both direction approaching but never touches the horizontal axis look at that it's approaching feel like it's approaching it but never touches but i would say never will go down because it's positive okay because it's positive so the standard normal curve symmetric about zero symmetric about zero that is part of the curve to the left to the left okay of the shaded line as a mirror is an image of the part of the right side is the mirror image well i can shade everything you know basically down here almost all the area under the normal curve lies between three standard deviation here you go so i want to make sure something down here we understand that this one is important i want to note it down here almost all i'm gonna erase some stuff here and i'm gonna actually draw one yeah i'm gonna draw one here a new one actually i'm gonna draw okay and you should be you should make a habit of drawing this one also so this is going to be zero i'm going to go up a little bit here that's how you draw normal curve and that will show you the z score and by the way i'm going to use this one also so one two three negative one negative two negative three why we go with three to the right three to the left oh by the way this is zero the reason is almost all the data value lies in between three standard deviation. Also, I want to note it down here, right? Between two standard deviation, this one and this one is usual value. It's usual, okay? Usual, okay? Anything to the left of two standard deviation anything to the right of two standard deviation is unusual okay remember that so we never go beyond three standard deviation but anytime you see z score 3.5 and a half basically is going to be one anytime you see z score 
negative 3.5 and up is also uh, you know it's going to be like approximately zero look negative 3.5 and lower i would say i'm sorry and lower is going to be 0 0.0 if your z score comes up to negative 4 or negative 5 you know by default you don't see this here but default is going to be here this answer now if you have another side also right if you have other side positive and you have 3.5 and up like you have 7 well you don't have a 7 here is by default is going to be 4999 approximately 1 so that's how we will use the z table well again there is a 2 table here in order to use the normal curve we use the positive z score and also we use the negative z score okay so i hope you understand the difference between normal curve and standard normal curve and non standard normal curve okay so thank you very much for watching this video